Hello, my name is Gabriella Tuell, and I'm an undergraduate in the Mechanical Engineering program at Colorado School of Mines, currently working in conjunction with another undergraduate in the Metallurgy and Materials Department, Lauren Drew, under the mentorship of Dr. Kester Clark. This project is sponsored by the Center for Advanced Non-Ferrous Structural Alloys under an NSF grant. The aim of this research is to explore metamorphic manufacturing, also known as robotic blacksmithing, as a low-cost, low-risk alternative to traditional forging and metal printing processes in the creation of specialized parts. Emulating the success we've been able to find in recent years with CNC and additive manufacturing being adopted as widespread digital manufacturing techniques. Traditional manufacturing techniques produce a lot of waste, and while additive manufacturing and CNC address many of these failings, robotic blacksmithing offers opportunities for better customization in the production of metal components, while simultaneously improving our ability to control a part's mechanical properties and decreasing the number of finishing processes required for a part to meet the desired specifications. Initially in our research, a considerable amount of time was spent learning traditional blacksmithing techniques, including bending, twisting, tapering, punching, tool use, and operation of a hydraulic press. By applying these techniques to make different hammerheads, tongs, and other tools, a list of control variables was identified to fully automate the process. These include thermal control for the furnace, 360 degree rotation and robotic movement along the x-axis, controlled loading through the hydraulic press, and computer programming and computer-aided design of the co final component. A roto-linear actuator was purchased from IntelliDrives as the robotic mechanism for automation that's used in conjunction with the hydraulic press. This robot consists of two axes of freedom, um, and an axisymmetric rotary shaft was designed as the initial part to produce an aluminum using this actuator and the hydraulic press. The hydraulic press will still be hand-operated in later tests, but all handling of the material itself will be done through program commands to the rotolinear actuator, eliminating the need for tongs and left-hand handling. The process developed involves deforming the end of the initial aluminum bar, rotating every 15 degrees and applying a load under the hydraulic press through the method of cogging until reaching the desired diameter along the length of the shaft with the bar held axially. The shaft will then need to be removed and reattached to the actuator to deform and reduce the other half to the desired specifications. Any remaining material would then be removed. Initial experiments involved annealing 1 inch, 1 and half inch, and 2 inch bars of 6061 aluminum so that they could be more readily deformed at room temperature, limiting the number of variables that would come into play initially. The bars were then deformed using the hydraulic press to determine how much deformation would be possible prior to failure so that the robotically controlled process could be better programmed. A 54% reduction rate was achieved prior to failure in the 1-inch bar of annealed aluminum with a hardness of 38.3, and a 3.2% reduction was achieved in the 2-inch bar that had a hardness of 44.2. Immediate challenges now include the integration of the actuator and press, sensor integration to monitor temperature, strain, and load, and being able to repeatedly produce parts with a consistent set of tolerances. Because we cannot now implement real-time adaptive modeling, our initial tests will be conducted with simple geometries and deformation increments. Future concerns will include developing this machine learning for the process and the adaptive modeling systems and better performing simulations necessary to improve the process.